There are several different types of sorting algorithms, and when we want to choose the best one, we have a few factors that we need to take into account. We need to consider the time it takes in order to complete a sort, the space it takes in order to complete a sort, and the purpose of the sort. And we also need to consider the type of data which we are given. And finally, coming to the topic of this video, we have to choose between a stable and unstable sort. In order to explain what this actually means, let's take a look at an example. Let's say we're given this unsorted array with the numbers 5, 4, 3, 10, 7, and 10 again. Notice how we have two 10s, and while they both have the same value of 10, they are both still completely different elements. And in order to illustrate this, they are represented in two different colors. So the first one is in green, and the second one is in red. Now we're going to sort our array in ascending order. So we're going to get 3, 4, 5, 7, 10, and 10 again. Let's take a look at our first stable sorted array. We first have the 10 in green, and then we have the 10 in red. So uh, green 10 comes first, and then the red 10. This follows the same order as our parent array. In the parent array, the green 10 comes before the red 10, and this order is followed in our stable sort. But when you look at our sorted unstable array, the red 10 comes before the green 10, and it does not maintain the ordered followed by our parent array. And one more really important thing that we need to understand is, in an unstable sorting algorithm, it could be stable. And this is a could, there is a chance of it being stable. But when you look at a stable algorithm, it's always going to be stable no matter what. Let's now take a look at this concept in a more realistic example. Let's say that we're given a website which has a table consisting of a person's name and the score that they got out of 100. As it is, the table is sorted by the names in alphabetical order. But let's say the user wants to sort it by the scores. Let's see what happens now. In our stable sort, we first have Z who scored 100, then we have Eric who scored 90, then Ryan who also scored 90, and then finally we have Alex who scored 60. Even though we changed our table, you can notice that Eric and Ryan still hold the same order as the parent table. In the parent table, Eric comes first and then comes Ryan. This is the same positioning in our stable sorted table, where Eric comes first and then comes Ryan. But when you look at our unstable sort, even though the sort is correct numerically, the table does not hold the same order as the parent, in the sense that Ryan appears before Eric. Let's now take a look at some examples of stable and unstable sorts. So by nature, bubble sorts, insertion sorts, merge sorts, and uh, counting sorts are stable uh, sorts, while quick sort, heap sort, and selection sort by nature are unstable. The reason I keep saying by nature is because these algorithms can be modified in order to be stable. And that should be it for the video. And finally, thanks a lot for watching. And do let me know what you thought about the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful. Thank you.